We are live and ready. This is the Thursday, May 16th meeting of the Camden Planning Board. Uh, Ethan is not available this evening, so I am chairing. Um, first on the agenda, any uh, public comment on non-agenda items? Anybody got anything? All right. Um, we do not have minutes to approve. Um, the second thing I'm going to, we're going to swap items three and four on the agenda. Uh, so we're going to look at the Lemon Morse project first. Um, and so that's a public hearing on this project from Canon Properties LLC, Lyman Morse, um, proposal to install four eight by 30 foot floats. Um, and so we will open that hearing. Um, Michelle, talk me through, do we need to have them introduce or should we just? Right, I just am, since we're moving to, do we need to, should we have Make a motion to, to continue? Yeah, we did that in item four to Yeah. And then make a motion to continue. Right. right. We, so as as there's we, been some discussion. Ethan, sorry. Hi, sorry to interrupt. Uh, we couldn't hear Shenley uh, on Zoom, but I'm assuming that she was following up on the request to continue this item Yes, um, correct. Okay, cool. Thank sure. you. And thanks. Because um, Jeremy and Bill Kelly worked on a memo. There were glitches yep. in the process. So yep. I'm, uh, okay, good, good. I'll just yep. shut up. But I, I'm here if you need me. I promised I would be here to um, uh, give any clarification Great. needed. But I Thank appreciate you. your help. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, yes, as explained in a memo that went to the select board the Harbor Committee and the applicant, uh, the process per the amendments to Harbor ordinances last year changed the process for this application. Uh, so I'm looking for a motion to continue our hearing to our June 6th meeting, which would give us, which gives time for the application to go back to the Harbor Committee and to get on the select board meeting on the, which would be the 4th of right. June. So I'll make that motion to continue this item until the 6th of June. The uh, June 6th meeting. At 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. At 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. yep. Can Lyman Morris address something on the record regarding that? Uh, let's finish the motion, please. I'll second the motion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I will take discussion, um, but there's not really a lot that we can... Yeah. I'd say like to leave something on the record. Do you want me to come up? Yes, please mm -hmm. come to the mic and identify yourself. Sure. Hit, hit the green button or the oh. yeah, make sure like I didn't. Yeah, hi, thanks for, for hearing me out. Um, my name is Matt Graham. I'm the chief operating officer of Lyman Morse. You know, we we received the memo. Um, we'd just like to say we respectfully disagree with both the contents of the memo, but maybe more importantly, the process that led to that memo coming up um and the timing of it you know, which obviously generated a lot of issues for us. We continue to feel the proper process is site plan review. Um, and since we started applying for this in 2017, we've been asked to follow three different processes. This would be the fourth if this is indeed the process that we end up following. So I just wanted to have that on the record uh, as we move on to the next meeting. I appreciate that. And thanks for your time. And we apologize. You know, this is I just would not want you guys to go through partial process and then have a building permit that's not actually valid. Of, of course. And we've always worked you and, know, collaboratively with the town since yeah. 2017 on this project. We, we're going to continue to do so. Um, I just felt it was important to give a little background on, yeah. you know, where we are. It's not appreciate just a normal continuance. Okay. I appreciate it. And I appreciate your patience and hopefully we'll get it wrapped up in June. Uh, so now we go to the second public hearing, uh, which is. Um, you need, sorry, you need to vote. Yeah. You... Hang on, we've got, hang on a second, Sophie. Some folks are leaving.
Sophie, you have a question? No, I was saying that you have a motion, but you don't have a second and you don't have a vote on, on the continuance yeah. just yet. Thank you. I realized that we had not voted. Thanks. As I was saying that. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean I don't mean to be pesky, but no, it's no, just no. And they were leaving. They were leaving. I, was like, oh, yeah, we I, I, I don't want to yeah. make sure it's. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, we have it. We have a second. Um, so all in favor of continuing. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Motion carries. Um, thanks, Sophie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, and thank you for your patience because it's. It's it's a work in progress, and I'm I'm saddened that we we've hit so many glitches in the road, but I think we're getting there. So thank you for your patience and for working along with us. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Well, and as I was saying to them, as as we discussed earlier today, with something like this, if if it goes forward and the process isn't followed, and they have a permit that's approved partially, but it's yeah. not. And someone, and especially with harbor projects, we've got to be as careful yeah. and meticulous as we can. So, all Agreed. right. Thank you. Uh, second hearing is uh, Shane Halley, PE, main, yeah, land, main land development on behalf of Hannaford, um, expanding or constructing a 300 square foot freezer addition to the Hannaford Brothers store. Um, right. So I'll hand it over to Shenley. And right. This, the applicant. This is the project that qualifies just for a site plan amendment. And I believe the applicant is here and he was going to give you a, a quick overview of the project just to explain what it is. But in the memo, I kind of highlighted exactly what they were requesting to do. And they're just adding an, an addition, as I understand, to accommodate a new freezer in the rear of the property. And I'm not sure if it's going to be constructed on existing concrete or if they're, they plan on any soil disturbance or not. I, I wasn't sure about that, but he'll, he'll explain that. But this was a, a shopping, covered shopping mall approved way back in 1978. And it's been in, in around since then. And it's in your business highway B2 district right off of Route 1. And again, um, uh, staff reviewed the the application for completeness, and we found it to be complete. And um, and then there's just a couple of um, issues in the last paragraph of my memo that, um, as far as looking at the approval, how you need to go about that if you want to look at that. But anyways, uh, Shane is here. Yeah. Yes. Oh, hi there. Hi. Um, I I assume it's my turn to 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 speak. Yes. I may. Excellent. Well, I'm Shane Howley, an engineer with Mainland Development Consultants here tonight representing Hannaford, particularly the Camden store. Um, and I think we already covered it. It's a it's a 16 by 19 foot uh, freezer expansion out uh, back into the right of Hannaford. Um, and to answer the question about um, impervious area, um, that location currently is paved um, like at, um, asphalt pavement. Um, so this expansion won't contribute to um, any new impervious area. Um, and one other note is back in 2022, uh, a clink bottle redemption building was installed, which resulted in a little bit of uh, new impervious area. As such, we had to notify DEP because it's governed by a SLOTA uh, Site Location of Development Act permit. We notify DEP, um, they received it. And so we should all be squared away with, with state regulations. That's that's all I have. And I'm, I'm hoping to answer any questions you may have. Yeah, uh, it just, as we're keeping it as a formal public hearing. So I will seek comment from the public. Uh, now I'll take questions from the board. I, I do have a quick question. Um, just regarding this, uh, the freezer expansion, I'm assuming that it's not just a pad, it's an actual freezer. Is that right? Or an expansion to the existing freezer? I, I believe so. Um... I'm not terribly familiar with what's actually going on inside. So my background is I'm a site civil engineer, basically everything outside of the building, but it's it's an expansion to the building itself. I, I see. The The only question I had was, does it create any, because there are residences further beyond, does it create any additional noise or anything like that? that... Um, no, there's similar uh, freezers already on the building. So if there is like a heat pump outside, it would be very similar to what's already there. Thank you. Anybody else? I'll make a motion to approve the application. Oh, hang, hang, hang on. I do actually have to make sure there's no other public comment. All right. 
And then we have actually a couple of particular All right. motions. Um, and if there's no other questions from the board, uh, the two things that we are actually approving is that um, if you look at the bottom paragraph of Shenley's memo, that the proposed qualifies as a site plan amendment as described in Article 2. Hmm? That's, that's the no. that's that's the, the first thing, right? Right, and then the, the second one that the amendment will only have a minor or no new effect upon approval criteria or conditions of approval. Right, and there was a comment from Jeremy that we should attach to that some condition to ensure that any erosion control measures are taken for any. I know it's on an existing pad, but just in case. That, but if they dig up the concrete or disturb the soil, that there's erosion control put in place condition so those would be your motions all right let me try this um i find having found that the proposal qualifies as a site plan amendment described in article 12 of the site plan review section 290-12b d1 and 2 and that the amendment has only a minor or no effect on the approval criteria or conditions of approval. Um, I will move to approve the application submittal of a request for a site plan amendment to Hannaford Brothers, construction of a 304 square foot freezer as shown on the submitted amended site plan subject to the condition that the applicants meet the erosion control requirements of the town. Okay, does that work for you, Shelley? Is there a second? Perfect. Second. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great, Three. motion carries. Right. Have, have fun with your freezer. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's Excellent, good. thank you all. <laughs> Uh, hearing that hearing is adjourned. The only um, other, yeah, but, but the meetings you have. Um, we yeah. just wanted to update you that um, I think Jeremy had worked out a possible May thirtieth um, public, or it's just a regular plan board meeting if you're available uh, to discuss a. Um, it's a discussion item only. It's not going to be a pre-application conference like it's indicated on the agenda. So it's just going to be a a discussion item about the Greenfield subdivision site plan. And if you're, I think we have a quorum at this point. And yeah, I think, well, we have, we, I think we have enough people, but also it's, if it's not actually a voting it, and meeting, it could be a, so therefore. Yes, right. A Zoom only meeting, it probably will be Zoom only if yeah. that works for everybody. Yeah. Um, and then of course your next two regular meetings are June 6th June 6, and June just... 20th and 6th is when you continue. We will just we will hopefully be discussing the the float right perfect i would not be here on the 30th see you guys on the yeah i will not be available on the 30th either but uh that should be a, it should be a pretty straightforward conversation so um motion to adjourn all right